Good morning, Melissa here at Safe Haven Ministries, and I'm going to take you on a journey today. We're going down memory lane. Mm -hmm. It's what we're going to do. And I want you to turn in your Bible to Matthew 13, 52. And we're going to talk about eating leftovers. It says, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that's, that is a householder, which brings forth out of his treasure things new and old. When I was young, this is memory lane for me too. When I was young, I, I, rem I loved going to family dinners. And we always went to Grandma Hollinger's because she was the good cook. Oh, man. And and my aunts and, and mom, they, they'd bring things too. But Grandma fixed almost the whole meal. And, and she loved it. I mean, that woman, she had more food. Wow. And she knew what you liked and what you didn't like. And I remember we always had a smorgasbord of leftovers. And usually that afternoon, we'd go back and get in them or that evening. And, and then they'd be in the refrigerator. And then we'd have, you know, we'd have turkey sandwiches with mayo. And then we'd have warmed up meatloaf. And then the mashed potatoes became um, uh, the patties, you know, the the, the potato patties. We'd, we made them out of that. And there was always something. We always had biscuits left over and and pies and desserts and and people would start taking things home at the end of the day but we had our refrigerators packed the truth is we had all kinds of leftovers on holidays and after a while we got tired of eating the same thing i mean it was okay the first few meals but after that i kind of got hungry for something else I remember on that day, Grandma would always pick out your favorite. Now, I loved her mac and cheese because it was cooked in the oven, it was baked in the oven with, I don't know, seven kinds of cheeses. It was just wonderful. And nobody in the family's got the recipe I've checked. And, and they had, and then I remember uh, one year, <clears throat> she made oyster dressing. And I thought, oh, that just sounds awful. But I really liked it. And I said, Grandma, this is really good. So every year we had oyster dressing and we had the regular kind. I didn't dare eat the regular because Grandma fixed the other one for me. Uh, I probably wouldn't have said it had I known I was going to get it for the next, you know, 15, 20 years. <laughs> but but I, I remember those days. It was a good time. It was a really a good time. It takes time and effort to feed people. I don't think I realized that. When I was a kid and I saw them all in the kitchen and Grandma was bustling around and, and they were mashing potatoes and all that kind of stuff, it never dawned on me the work that goes into that. I know that now that I had had my own family. And, and everybody has something special they like, but there's a hunger for more. So I want you to take that into the spirit realm for a minute because when it said a scribe, it means a teacher. A teacher brings forth treasures both old and new. And the word new is keina, and it refers to something that is absolutely new and previously untried. And it says, and the word old means Pelea, and it refers to things that have existed for a long time. Now, what this is talking about is actually bringing forth new revelation, and, and then we have the old revelation. But I kind of like the example of the leftovers, because this will make the point. There's some teaching that they're like good leftovers, and they're tasty, and they're enjoyable, and they're always on the table and at holidays. But there comes a time when you think, oh man, I just want something new, something different. I just can't do this anymore. And I remember the year that John loved chili. And every year on Christmas Eve, we'd, we'd have chili. And, and, and I, I would watch the faces of the other kids. It's like, are we doing chili again? Because that's John's favorite. 
Yes, it's his favorite, and that's what we're going to do. The next year, or one year, I remember the girls all brought different kinds of soup, so we had a variety of soup. That was their subtle way of saying, I don't like chili, but John did. Nothing like favoring your kids, is there? There's always one, and you think, but I knew he loved that, and he was hard to please. Well, we have a tendency on a holiday to bring out the old recipes and the new ones. And people try them. See, that's the way it is with the scriptures. Scriptures are written in layers. You can see a layer and you read that and you say, I know what that means. I've read it for years. I know what it means. But there'll come a day when you spend close to time close to God and you talk with him and you say, God, I don't understand ex exactly what this means. You watch and he'll begin to peel back layers and show you things in that you thought, I never knew that. That's why you hear me say every once in a while, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I, I love the way God continues to teach me. I, I want to be like my dad. My dad was still learning when he was old. I mean, like old, old. He was he was on the computer when he was in his 80s. He was learning to paint when he was in his 80s and 90s. He was still painting. And I think, what a gift that is. Somebody that always wanted to learn. And until his eyesight got bad... He was always looking and reading and and always wanting to go farther. Well, that's the way it is in the Word. You know, we see things and, and we think, oh, I, I love that. That's something fresh. And then we go back to our old tried and true also. So the Word of God has so much for us, the old familiar and the brand new. And so we just need to enjoy Enjoy everything that God's got for us. You know, there's a verse that says in Psalms 34, verse 8, says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see. So today, I'm going to challenge you to taste and see what the Lord has for you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you. Thank you for the good memories of times with families when we can remember a, a good meal around a table and and the leftovers, and what a good time we had, the laughter. Thank you for that. Now, Lord, help us to remember that you have so much in your word that's brand spanking new, fresh, that we've never heard before. And I thank you for the old tried and true. So, Lord, just continue to teach us and build us and help us to taste and see that you really are good. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station.